This video will introduce the validator pane. Now this is a new feature as of Altia Design 11.1. .1. The validator pane is really handy when you're designing for a GUI uh, but you don't know exactly what, what rules you have to follow for certain pieces of hardware because Altia can make high-end GUIs with hardware with hardware acceleration and 3D graphics all the way down to very embedded limited targets with uh, low memory footprint and low power requirements and some of the features may, may or may not be supported depending upon the hardware target you intend to use. Uh, for example, um, if I just bring up the validator pane here, uh, you can actually start by just specifying generic rule sets or specifying a target that you want. For example, I'll go MiniGL. That's one of our most limited targets because it's designed to have the smallest footprint possible. All right, so uh, one of the things that's possible on many objects, you've seen me do this in videos before, is group something and then create an animation, right? Well, it just so happens that on that specific target, you cannot create an animation on a group. So as soon as I hit define there, real-time validation popped up and said, hey, you cannot create custom animations on that object. Show valid pa data pane or ignore. If I click ignore, I can go on and do whatever I want. Uh, and if I click don't show this message again, it won't continue to bother me about this one error. But what's good to do, I suggest, uh, at least once, um, so you can get an idea of what you can and cannot do, is show that validator pane and bring it up. And if it's collapsed, um, you'll just have to uncollapse it. But if it's not shown um, and you don't click that button, you can always find it here in the list of available panes as well. All right. So that's under the view ribbon. So let's go back to the home ribbon and just uh, continue looking at our model here. The rule set we have is mini GL V850, and the rule is yelling at us about custom animation not allowed. All right, so we can actually view information about this. This animation is created on an object which is not allowed. Uh, so it has a how to fix column over here in the validator pane, and some of these are auto fix, but notice that the manual. Uh, fix is listed under the action column. That means it's up to you to correct this problem. All right. So what we could do is we could either select the animation and say delete select animations and then that says well okay great you've deleted an animation but now you have a group with no animations on it. See this says group has one child and no substantive definitions like animations uh, or timers, or control code, or anything on this group. You can see it here in Navigator, there's no special attributes to this group. So Validator is just basically telling us, um, you should really delete this group if you're not using it because it does reduce your draw performance. So this one has an auto fix action. So I can actually just click fix it now and it removes that group for me. So that is a very simple model with Validator working against the MiniGL rule set. Let me just switch it to a generic rule specification and open up a more complicated model that might show you other types of things that you will see in a, um, in a more complicated model that perhaps you have already built or you're going to work toward. Uh, as I was clicking show validator pane, it was actually bringing up each type of either error or warning. So let me scroll up and give this some room. And there's a few image objects. You can see that are blank because I pointed them to the wrong path. So the PNG file does not exist on disk. There's one of that. Uh, notice that uh, action manual fix, it can't figure out where you want, what o image object you want or where that exists on your, on your system. Perhaps it's just one level down in images, but right now it's not finding new icon taillights on .png in the same directory as my DSN. All right. So I can scroll down and I can say group attributes without animation. So basically when you group an object, you really want to animate it or do something like that. And this is just saying, hey, I have static attributes. And sometimes this is what you want. For example, if we say fix it now, it's going to do the same thing as clear group style. Okay, so fix it now. You notice the font specification and the T over here was overridden or removed. But that was actually on purpose. We like that because we can create a font specification on a parent group and have it drill down to two readouts. All right, so in this case, I clicked undo and in real time validator it says, hey, we got the same problem, you clicked undo. So I'm just gonna say ignore for now. Um, that's to point out the fact that some of these are errors, right? These are pretty big problems. If you wanna show this image, it can't find it. Or some of these are warnings, right? It's um, saying this could or could not be a problem. I've found it, do you want me to fix it for you? If we scroll down, you can actually see informative things, and these are even less than warnings. Um, 
you can fix it, but it's not going to do any huge disservice to you to leave it there. But it will give you enough information to tell you why it's calling it to your attention. And of course, this is uh, another example of those superfluous group things. You can see that we've got a group with really nothing much on it. So if I just say fix it now, that one goes away. All right. And so eventually, you can actually go through and fix this. The only ones that you really want to uh, really focus on usually are the errors, right? And those are the red X's. So this brings me to the fact that you can sort the validator pane. Sort by type, informative, warning, or error. Sort by rule, so you can just find all the ones that have those certain rules that you're breaking. Sort by object, so you can sort by object ID or, or name. And then sort by action, show me just the ones that you can auto fix, and I'll deal with the ones that I have to manually fix later. All right, so this is the validator, extremely handy, and generic rule specifications work. We'll of course have a rule specification per target, so this will make real-time validation of your designs for a specified target now possible with LT Design 11.1, .1 and very easy to fix and correct the issues as it comes across them, all in real time. <laughs>